Hello and herzlich willkommen and welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Hellas from Bavaria. This one is from the Hertel Brau Manufaktur located in Thüngfeld in Oberfranken, Upper Franconia. Um, it's the Bamberg district, so it's the uh, north of Bavaria. And um, mostly I am into the more traditional breweries. This one, however, is um, was founded already 2012, so it's very new brewery. Um, I'm not sure if the if it's the newest brewery that I'm reviewing on the channel, but there is a good chance that it is like that. So um, also the appearance of the bottle and the look of the labels and the website is giving a more of a craft beer uh, appearance comparing to the more traditional ones that I am usually reviewing here on the channel, the ones that I prefer with a long tradition. Uh, as you can see, um, quite craft beer look uh, of the label, which is quite obvious, in my opinion, with the untraditional look of the labels uh, that these craft beers usually is having. Uh, show you the front label, the back label, and uh, yeah, they do at least use the for the region typical bottle shape, the uh, thicker bottle shape, not the tall one, but the thick one, which is seems to be typical for um, breweries in this region, private small breweries. I can show this one closer to you the look of the label right here, and it's a Hellas uh, with Hefe in it. Um, so. That's something that I'm. Um, it reminds me of that I've been um, reviewing at least one Hellas uh, before on the channel that also had uh, wheat in it. So, uh, of course, this um, isn't of, often the case that uh, a Hellas is having wheat in, but this one has. And I remember that I've been having one Hellas before also on the channel that also had wheat in it. Uh, but this of course means that it, I have to use the special pouring technique with um, swirling the bottle to make the, uh, the wheat become a part of the beer again. Um, that it's being collected at the very bottom of the bottle since it's continuing to yeast uh, the bottom fermenting uh, process, uh, I think it is. Anyway, I'm gonna give you some information about this brewery which was possible to read on their website. I'm gonna give you the link to the brewer's website in the description box below, of course, as always. Um, also, you can understand uh, from this text that it's not the typical uh, brewery that I'm reviewing from because the text is a little bit different comparing to the more traditional ones speaking about history and so on. This one isn't speaking about history so much, as, it's, as you can understand since it's, it was found just uh, a few years ago. Uh, master brewer with body and soul in the smallest brewery in Franconia, motor oil, cucumber, goose and whiskey doppelbock are just a few of the extraordinary craft beer creations from the Hertel Brewing Factory, the smallest brewery in Franconia. Here, David Hertel creates taste grenades that not only fascinate beer connoisseurs. David Hertel is currently Germany's youngest master brewer and beer sommelier, as well as prospective wine sommelier. At the age of 22, he completed his master's degree before completing part-time training as a beer sommelier. The 26-year-old David Hertel is currently striving for the certificate as a wine sommelier which he is expected to hang next to his master's certificate in mid-2017. In 2013 he started his own business and opened his own brewery with the brewing company. He discovered his passionate, passionate interest in uh, brewing as a teenager. The first beer experiments in Mama's kitchen led to the fact that the former Pigsty and Parents farm was converted into a miniature brewery. The, charmous, the uh, charismatic young brewer already produced 
um, produces around 80 hectoliters of the finest beer on 80 square meters and the trend is rising. A new brew house and other equipment are expected to boost production as the demand for David Heltl's barley juice specialties is increasing. Handmade by Heltl. If you hold a bottle of David Heltl's unusual beer specialties in your hand, you get a 100% handcrafted beer directly from the family business. Every bottle, most of it, is made of clay, is hand labeled and lovingly sealed by Mutti Vroni. A friend of the family designed the label itself. Even the wooden box in which David Heltl delivers the beer was made by hand in a workshop of the Lebenshilfe EV. David obtains the ingredients for his beers from regional farmers, if possible, and grinds them in the drill-operated grist mill. Together with his father Belnt, who is a winemaker and beer, uh, beer sommelier, the two, and the two trainees, the talented master brewer brews around 40 different types of beer a year. Among these seasonal beers are strong beers like the motor oil uh, Imperial Porter or creative exotic beers like the Cucumber Ghost. Power showers with stylish character, the beers from the Hertel Brewing Company. The beers from Hertel have it all. They are mainly strong beers with an alcohol content of at least 6% ABV. Uh, persons that are bottled in the brewing factory, David Hertel does not want to produce beer that is suitable for the masses. He is concerned with the unique taste, the special enjoyment and a valuable drinking moment that he wants to give his customers which, um, with each of his beers. That is, why he, uh, that is why the brewing factory produces cheeky, ca characterful and always high quality delicacies that do not want to be compared with the classic after work beer. One of the latest beer creations is the end of the world. Name says it all. A black pale Indian pale ale uh, is uh, brimming, brimming, uh, brimming with a powerful 8.2 volume percent alcohol and contains concentrated aroma power. First, the scent of dried plums and a hint of caramel seduces the nose before the powerful body of the end of the world greets the taste buds with chocolate and malt and fruity hops. Have you ever tried motor oil? Then it is time, because the, with Motorenöl, David Hertel has succeeded in creating an imperial porter that has been stored on oak for three months. Deep black with roasted and smoky aromas, the powerful bear shines as a characterful meal companion. The whiskey billy goat with its peaky, uh, peaty smoky aroma spent six months of the, in the Scottish island whiskey barrel before it was bottled in the typical clay bottles. With an alcohol content of 11.3%, it is the strongest beer that David Heltl has to offer. The taste of the Doppelbock remains balanced and multi-layered and convinces with a harmonious interplay of different types of malt. The fine strong beer perfectly combines the traditional Hallo Tau hops with the English files. Not only whis whiskey lovers is this beer specialty at least worth a sip. For friends of unusual drinking enjoyment, the cucumber goes uh, is an absolute must. Together with uh, Hopfmeister, the Gurking Gose was created as a collaboration brew. Uh, the Gose is a German sauerbier style that is traditionally brewed with salt, coriander and lactic acid. The beer professionals also used cucumbers from a local Franconian farmer for cucumber gose. However, it is brewed in the Czech Republic because of the German purity law prohibited brew brewing in Germany, but not the import. When you drink the gose cucumber, you don't think of a beer at first. With just 4% four, four percent, uh, percentage of alcohol and its distinctive cucumber acidic note, is the cucumber goes or the alcohol containing salad as the labeling promises a tangy light refreshment on hot summer days. The classic, the Keller beer of the brewing manufacturer is a part of the standard range in towns with a relaxed alcohol content of 5.2 volume 
percent of classic beers, hop emphasizes and easy to drink, mild in taste and perfect for the end of the day with friends. Brew your own beer seminars by and with David Heltel. If you don't just want to try it, but also want to mix the malt and mash it yourself, you'll find the right master brewer in David Heltel. In addition to the finished beer specialties, he also offers brewing seminars where the participants brew their own beer. David Heltel accompanies his curious beer fans for a whole day from the first malt grain to the finished brew. The fermented beers are then bottled and made available to the participants about six weeks after the seminar. Rich, genuine Franconian specialties are taken care of on site in the brewing factory. Fun, warm and professional authentic insights into the smallest brewery in Franconia is included. With the men's seminar, David Heltl brings together what belongs together. For three hours participants enjoy a six-stage beer tasting with fresh barbecue, drinking beer at a high level with interesting background information, beer, de beer descriptions and in a pleasantly casual atmosphere. The two seminars are ideal gift ideas for connoisseurs, beer fans and curious brewers. For corporate customers David Heltl also offers the seminars as a team building event, also outside of Schritt. Schlüssel felt directly from the customer's site. Gift vokers are available directly in the shop on the Braumanufaktur website. Uh, very interesting in many ways this brewery. Um, the beers are brewed uh, in a special way by this man David Heltl who is young and uh, is offering a lot of different uh, beer styles. So very interesting actually. And of course, it's good for the bear culture that uh, there are people like this brewers who start their own breweries still in Franconia. Um, about this specific one, the Helles, it's possible to read the following on their website. Uh, in addition to Grandpa's favorite, Mutis Sunshine is a typical bright one, complements our range. So that's what uh, this. Uh, Helles is having as yes, uh, its sign uh, from this brewery, uh, the, the mother for some reason, Muttis Sonnenschein, uh, mother's sunshine. Uh, does that mean alcohol content is 4.9? Die Helle, does it sound, uh, say right here, which means the Helles beer. Mutti Vroni, Vroni might be the name of uh, David's mother. So here is Mutti Vroni uh, and Muttis Sonnenschein, die Helle, Hertel Braumanufaktur, um, Franken Familie. Here's the back label uh, Hertel Braumanufaktur, Zutaten, Wasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen und Hefe, Herzstück der Brauerei. Wer Mutti Vroni kennt, liebt sie, gebraut und abgefüllt in Franken für die Braumanufaktur Hertel. Mehrwegflasche Vollbier, Tüngfeld, Schlüsselfeld. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting to taste. Uh, well, let's look at the label before going on to the tasting part. I managed to find it in Germany. Of course, not possible to find outside the Franconia, probably. Uh, so let's open this one up. The Helles from Hertel. Um, and it's gonna be interesting to try this one. And pour it up. Uh, there's a little bit left in the bottle. Uh, since it's um, uh, wheat, swirl the bottle like this to make it become a part of the beer again. And then you can pour up the rest like this. So it's being nice collected here at the top. Put that one right there. Meanwhile, and take a look at this fantastic one, Bavarian style Helles Cloudy, since it's uh, it's wheat in it. Nice, white, compact foam and just the way it should be. Perfectly great looking, uh, in my opinion, two finger white 
crown. Um, always important to build up that and maintain it all the way through. It keeps the right taste in the glass. Also, it's a quality sign in my opinion. Uh, Bavarian style is to start drink while it's big white foam in my opinion. Uh, that's something that I like to do. Taste of the foam, great. Um, cloudy, pale, uh, many small bubbles as you hopefully can see right here. Looks really really nice. This is a high quality one. It's obvious. Even though the, the brewery is very new, founded already 2012, it's easy to feel that it's a high quality one. Um, so I'm gonna just taste the aroma, which is fantastic, really, really fresh. This is this brewery honors the tradition in in Bavaria and the uh, and the beer district Bamberg and Upper Franconia, Oberfranken, the region where most breweries are located in the world, comparing to the the um, geography and the inhabitants. Um, it's really, really fresh, easy to feel the high quality ingredients, the, the um, hopfen, malz and the hefe and water, of course. Really, really summer fresh, this one. Gonna be really great to try it, so I can't wait any longer. The Hertel, Helle, let's try it. Prost! Great, of course. Um, really, really refreshing and nice. We got a great Hellas taste, the mild Hellas taste. This man, David Hertel, is a great, great man. It's easy to to feel that. It's a fantastic Hellas. Um, you feel the uh, the wheat in the aftertaste uh, adds to the the experience with a refreshing uh, mildness. And um, that little bit of typical uh, fresh fruitiness coming from the wheat in the aftertaste. It's really, really pleasant and nice. You see still uh, that the white foam head is, is quite big. Um, all, and um, that's a good thing, of course. It's a quality sign. This one is a recommendation, even though it's not really a traditional brewery as I usually is, uh, is reviewing from uh, the beer itself is at least not a strange one. It's a Hellas uh, with wheat in it um, and um, I love it really much. So the beer style is traditional and uh, the brewery is doing this one traditional way. Um, as I said the only step away from tradition might be that they um, use hefe also as an ingredient but that's okay it's a traditional ingredient um, and there are a few hellas that are being brewed with uh, with wheat in it so not a strange thing and and it tastes really great it fits nice in the beer style so it definitely doesn't take away anything from the experience of this hellas the uh, it's just a, uh, fun to have a little bit of difference. So, very great beer. <sighs> yep, that's it. The, um, the Helle uh, from uh, Hertel Braumannefaktor in uh, Oberfranken. I really hope that they survive. I really hope that they continue, that David Hertel continue because it tastes really nice. So, Muttis Sonnenschein, um, the Helle from uh, Hertel Braumannefaktor is a great bear, great Helles. Uh, Thanks that's it for now. Hope you continue to follow my channel. Uh, that you look forward to the next beer review just as much as I do. I love to do these beer reviews. Uh, I really look forward to the next ones, uh, which is going to be real interesting. So, uh, thanks that's it for now. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hope I see you again in the next German beer review.